Memphis. I talk to them. I want to talk to you guys out there in the real world. Memphis. Memphis young men. South, North, East, West. I want to see if I can open one of you guys' eyes to the reality. My condolences to Young Dove family and to the community. But young men, before y'all running around, revenging each others, let the police do their job. Please. Please, if you all know, take the time out to see what the reality of what it is. Somebody is benefiting from this. Someone have an agenda to put you all at war with each other. But ask yourself. I know you are going to say you are street, you, you street niggers and you gangsters. And you street gangsters and you know, have to defend the street cred. But young men, gentlemen, think about the agenda that whoever is putting this war together is a beneficiary of it. Placing your gaddy and the young man that loses life. Young dove. Then, if you all notice, they call in other names. They trying to pull a, take a bunch of people and pull them to start a conflict. Think, think about it, young man. Think about it. You realize you don't find the civil rights leaders in your city as yet. You realize Black Lives Matter is not in your city as yet? Yeah? I know you all feel very hurt by what take place to Young Dove. Right? But if you look and you can think back, some of you young guys were too young to know the history of Biggie and Tupac. Ask yourself this question. Yeah? If Tupac and Biggie crime ever get solved, do you know how much innocent people lose their life in that battle? And the crimes have never been solved. It went silent. It went cold. I know you all have the, the silent code not to talk to the police. But my black people, my black people, please, is a plan to destroy us and the people behind it is the beneficiary if you look on the internet there's not one person I see coming out especially a, a, a public figure coming out strongly and said no war they all anticipate for you all to kill your one another. And when you are finished killing off your one another, they will come in and pick up the few that leave and lock them up. And say life in prison, you kill that one and kill that one. But think about it. Who is the beneficiary of this war that is brewing? That have a young man, not only one, not only two, but more than one person has life, lost their life since Young Dove died. As a Jamaican, I come to this country, I didn't understand your music. And the first time I see, see Yo Gotti, I like the energy, I like the, the music. So I start to listen to you guys and start to listen to Young Dove music as well. Like both guys. Like both of them music. So as a person who is not on any side. I can come to you all and call out for peace. They have an agenda to destroy you all. And young boys you are destroying yourself. 
Don't bite the bait. Don't take the bait. Please. Let the police do their jobs. Whatever information you got. And no one don't like to talk to the police. Find a way to put it out there. If you think I'm, I'm joking. Look online. There is nobody crying for peace. They all anticipate for you all to kill off your one another. Be smart in your thinking. You got three young men in jail already for drive-by. And maybe more arrests since then. Don't give the enemy the weapon they need to use. They pull that stunt already. Biggie and Tupac, crime never solved. And you hear nothing more. Peace. Peace.